Heraklion is the main city on Greek Crete Island, the city of Heracles, the strongest and bravest hero by ancient Greek myth. In this video, we will tell you about the rich historical past of the Heraklion city, about its the most famous and the most interesting places, and at the end of the video, you will hear an exciting story about what labor made Heracles famous on the Crete Island. Stay tuned, it's gonna be very interesting. World with a twist. Heraklion is the main city on the Crete Island. The history of Heraklion counts over 2,500 years. The city is named after Heracles, the hero of ancient Greek myth, who performed one of his twelve labors on the Crete Island. It is believed that Heraklion was founded during the reign of King Minos, the son of Zeus and Europe. Heraklion was the seaport of the Knossos city-state the Minoan, the first European civilization. Confirmation of the existence of Minoan civilization is the Knossos Palace, located just 6 kilometers from Heraklion. In the 9th century, Heraklion was captured by the Arabs, who turned the city into a powerful fort. But at the same time, the city was also a center of slave trade and piracy. At the beginning of the 13th century, Crete came under the rule of the Venetian Republic, and the Venetian administrative district of Crete became known as Rain di Candia, Kingdom of Candia. Also, for some period, the island was under the control of the Ottoman Empire. Today, Heraklion is a large port, trade and tourist center. There is an international airport named after the Greek writer Nikos Kazantzakis in Heraklion. Everyone who wants to visit the Crete island arrives at this airport. Interesting to know that Heraklion wasn't always the capital of Crete until 1971, its capital was the city of Hanya in the west of the island. The most outstanding and perhaps the most famous location is the Heraklion Fortress in the Venetian harbor of the city. So we started our city walk from there. Fortifications made Heraklion one of the most fortified cities in the Mediterranean. The first fortifications in modern Heraklion were built during the Byzantine Empire. The Venetian fortifications of Heraklion consist of defensive walls of a triangular shape 3 km long, fortified with seven bastions. The entire defensive complex was surrounded by a deep and wide dry moat and various fortifications. Then we decided to walk along the 25th of August street, which starts on the embankment opposite the fortress. This is the main street of the city, along which all the main and most interesting sightseeing, cafes, restaurants and shops are located. On the 25th of August, Orthodox Christians celebrate the day of Saint Titus, one of the best disciples of the Apostle Peter. In the first century, he preached Christianity on the island. In 961, the Cathedral of St. Titus was built on the 25th of August street in Heraklion. And this is one of the most famous buildings of the city. The Venetian Loggia is one of the best architectural monuments of Venetian Crete. A loggia is a rectangle two-story building with an open gallery on the ground floor. Famous people of the city once gathered here not only to solve economic and political problems, but also to have a rest from state affairs. And state decrees were read right exactly from these balconies. The loggia was built in the initiative of the local government official Francesco Morazzini in 1626-1628.
the Morosini Fountain is an excellent get-together place in the city. Here is very cool, relaxing vibe. It was named after the governor of Crete in the 17th century, Francesco Morosini. A similar fountain is located on the St. Mark's Square in Venice. That fountain in Venice inspired the architects of the Morosini fountain. There is a plenty of bars, cafes and souvenir stores on the square around the fountain. There is a cozy Toyota Coppola Park near the Morosini Fountain. You can take a break from the hustle of the city here. There is a monument to the outstanding Greek artist El Greco in the park. El Greco was born in Heraklion. Few people know, but El Greco is a pseudonym that translates as the Greek, and the real name of the artist is Domenikos Toyota Coppolos, so the park was named in his honor. Another one of the most iconic locations of Heraklion is the Archaeological Museum, the largest museum not only of the island, but also of the entire country. It was founded back in 1883. The main and most important exhibits of the Minoan civilization of Crete are kept in the 20 rooms of this museum. Ceramics, jewelry, lithographs, sarcophagi, frescoes, microsculptures and more. Five kilometers to the west of the center of Heraklion is the sandy Amudara beach, set with all the necessary infrastructure for a beach holiday. Heraklion is also a port city. From here you can take a ferry to nearby islands. Also to Thera, the main city of the most romantic Greek Santorini island, which is world famous for its white houses on the tops of the former volcano, churches with blue domes, and spectacular view of the sunset. It was worth spending at least a couple of days on this island to stay for the night there and to meet that incredible sunset. It is also possible to fly to Santorini with a stop in Athens or to go by ferry from Crete with or without a car. Also, many tours of various lands are organized from Heraklion to the Santorini island. And now we will tell you a story about what labor Heracles performed on the Crete island. And what do we know about Heracles after whom the city of Heraklion was named? According to the ancient Greek myth, Heracles was the son of Zeus and Alcmin. He was brave and very strong. The goddess Hera constantly took revenge on Heracles because he was illegitimate son of Zeus. Once Hera punished Heracles severely, he went crazy and killed his beloved wife and his sons. When Heracles came to his senses and realized what he has done, he wanted to commit suicide from overwhelming grief. But the gods had another plan for the Heracles and sent him to the oracle. The oracle of Delphi ordered Heracles to serve his brother Erytheus for 12 years to remove the curse. And during 12 years, Heracles had to perform 12 of the most difficult and seemed to be impossible labors. One of these 12 labors was performed by Heracles on the Crete island. This labor was called the Cretan Bull. King Minos of Crete refused to sacrifice a bull to Poseidon and was punished for that. Poseidon made the bull furious. The bull destroyed buildings, devastated the crops of Crete with the fire from his nostrils. From him, Pacifia gave birth to Minotaur, who also caused a lot of trouble to the Cretan people. Heracles' brother Erytheus ordered Heracles to go to Crete and tame the dangerous bull. Heracles managed to catch him thanks to his strength and sent him to Mycenae. Erytheus released the bull and dedicated it to Hera, but she wasn't satisfied with such a gift since it only increased the glory of Heracles, whom she hated so much. She sent the bull to Sparta and then to Arcadia and Marathon. Later, the hero Theseus tamed this bull in Marathon. He brought it to Athens and sacrificed it to the goddess Athena there. You can read about the other 11 labors of Heracles in the myths of ancient Greece. There are many places in Crete associated with ancient Greek myth, which make this land especially mysterious. 
More details about Heraklion City you can read on our website worldvisitwiz.com, link in the description below. Share the video if you like it, click the thumb button and comment. Subscribe to our channel if you want to get such short and informative overviews about the most interesting places of our planet. World Visit Wist. Let's discover the world together!